Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial on how to set up PostgreSQL streaming replication on CentOS 8. So the first thing we need to do then is we need to CentOS 8 machines. You can see in front of you now I have a master and slave machine set up both running Vagrant 8.1 boxes, uh, sorry CentOS 8.1 boxes. So if you don't have any of these set up or you don't have any machines in front of you to follow along with then feel free to pause right now and then come back. Great. So first things we need to do then is we need to disable the built-in Postgres module so that we can go ahead and install the ones that we want. So we're going to do this by typing in dnf-qy module disable PostgreSQL. And just to save time, I'm going to copy this do the same on the slave. Now next thing to do is to enable the official Postgres yum repo. I believe I've already done this to save time but just in case. Okay I've already done that just to save time in the video but it won't take long for you. So the next thing we need to do then is use DNF to install both Postgres 12 and Postgres 12 server as follows. DNF install PostgreSQL 12 and PostgreSQL 12 server. Yes to that because it's also going to install the libraries. Great. I'm also going to do the exact same thing on the slave. I'll accept the keys. Now I'll go ahead and install. And I'll clear my screen. Okay, so now set now Postgres 12 is installed on both machines, but now we need to initialize the database. And that is done as follows. User PGSQL 12 bin PostgreSQL 12 setup initialize database. Now there is various flags that you can use when you initialize a database, but these are entirely up to you and how you want to set things up. For me, I'm just going to go the default so purpose of demonstration. My mistake. And that's done. Again, I'm just going to copy the command from the master and replicate it on the slave. Hopefully I'm not going too fast so you can you can follow along. Great, and then I am just going to start it on both machines just so are all in the same position installed and started on both machines. So now moving on to actually setting up the replication we're going to start on the, on the master server and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to alter the system to listen to all incoming client addresses. And this is done as follows. And then once we're in here we're going to PSQL minus C, alter system set listen addresses to all. Good. Now, next thing we need to do is create the user that, that's going to be taking over the replication role for the streaming. And we do this by simply create user replication I'm just going to call it replicator and I'll just give it a simple password great now the next thing we're going to do still on the master database is we're going to add a line for the replicator user 
at the end of the P, uh, Postgres HBA.conf file. And this is located at varlib pg sql 12 data pg sql my bad pghba.conf and we're going to add right to the bottom host replication replicator followed by the address of the slave so I can find that now and MD5 great next thing we need to do is restart the service And that's that. So next what we need to do is head over to the slave and make a base backup from the master in order to bootstrap the slave. So we're going to do this initially by heading over to our slave, changing to the Postgres user, and we're going to copy the contents of varlib pgsql 12 data into exactly the same underscore origin. My mistake. Great. So after that, we're going to remove all the contents of the original data folder. Okay, so now we need to actually make the backup. So what we're going to do for this is use the pg base backup dash h with the IP address of our master followed by a dash capital D going into the varlib pgsql 12 data folder dash capital U replicator user dash V dash capital P dash capital R dash capital X stream dash capital c dash capital s pg standby one and when you do this it's going to ask for the password that you originally set for the replicator user and you can see that my replication is complete so now once it's done the contents of my varlib pgsql 12 data will now have stuff in it, which mirrors that of the master. So now back on the master, if we, are, if we were to select all from the replication slots, we should see that we now have something in the replication slot. So we'll use psql-c, select all from pg, replication slots my mistake now we can see our currently inactive um, replication and that is because it's not started on both machines yet so now if we start it on the slave
we'll now see that it's true because it's active now. Okay, we'll test this nice and easy. We won't add too much information, but what we will do is on the master, we will just simply create a database. Create database. YouTube. And if we go over to the slave, and it's a list of databases, you can see the YouTube database. So hopefully that helps out with some people out there, um, and hopefully it was enough to follow along with. I'll also add the initial link to the repository in the description, so you can grab that nice and easy and then follow along at home. So hopefully that helped out. If it did, don't forget to subscribe, like, and I'll catch you next time.